begin, Jason, with the high school playoff game that ended in chaos. Now we're getting new clues into what may have set the whole thing off. And we'll start there on Local 4 News at 5. Tonight, Almont School Superintendent promising an investigation into the fight during its playoff game against Detroit Denby and allegations of racist behavior in the stands. Victor Williams is live at Denby High School tonight. And uh, Victor, players from both teams had to be escorted off the field. Yes, absolutely. Things got very heated out there on the gridiron, but both sides agree that what happened at this football game was very unnecessary. You got adults, you know, racial slurs, spitting, this, that, and the other. It, it, it's sad. Denby High football parent Patrick McKnight says it's an absolute shame what took place following the semifinals of the state championship between Denby and Almont High. Chaos among Denby football players and spectators in support of Almont. You, you got to keep in mind, you're dealing with a bunch of kids. But what led to this happening in the first place? The Detroit Public Schools Community District sent us this statement regarding the incident, which reads, based upon preliminary findings, it's our understanding that Almont adult spectators were cursing and spitting on our coaches and players after the game while leaving the field. But Almont Community School District Superintendent Dr. William Calmer, who was there, says that's not the case, at least from his perspective. While there was there were jeers and taunts, um, I did not necessarily hear anything that I would consider to be uh, racial epithets or racial slurs. I'm not saying they didn't happen. I'm just saying that we don't have evidence of it. Dr. Calmer and both the principal as well as the athletic director all agree that there were some agitators among the Almont crowd, but if any are proven to have used racial slurs, they'll face major consequences. If they're members of our community that, that poured gasoline on the fire, so to speak, um, we're working to identify those and if we find out who they are, they're, they're going to be banned from, from our campus in any event. And we're also told there was a lot of back and forth going on by way of social media between the both of these schools. But both of these districts are handling an investigation regarding this incident. Reporting live on the east side, Victor Williams, Local 4. Victor, is it any indication that this is going to be reported to the Michigan High School Athletic Association? Well, I'm hearing that the Detroit Public Schools Community District, they are making records of all of this, and they're going to be sending all of that on to the Athletic Association. Yeah. All right. Victor, keep us posted.